Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today to share my little kitchen organization that I did today. Today I focused on underneath my sink and as you can tell the before is super unorganized and so I really wanted to tackle this space and stay tuned until the end. I'm going to be sharing exactly how I did it, what I'm using to do it, and the end result looks so much better. I did want to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I love my Cricut machine so I will be sharing um, all about my machine and how I was able to do my project with it. I have the Cricut Joy and I absolutely love it. The Cricut machine is a smart cut machine that allows you to create personalized projects with hundreds of materials and it works with a software called Design Space that you can do from your phone and your computer. I do it from my phone sometimes as well, but it comes free with your machine. You can create your project on there and then browse from hundreds of images and fonts. And once you've created your design, what you wanna do, um, the design space will send it to your machine to cut it out. So these are the materials that I bought for the project. I got a couple of spray bottles that I wanted to put a couple things in. And then I got a few plastic bins to organize underneath there. Again, talking a little bit more about design space and that is what comes free with your machine. I like to do it from my phone as well because the Cricut Joy, which is the one I have, it um, does simple projects and labels and that's exactly what I wanted. Um, but as I'm showing you here, I typed in St. Patrick's Day. You can really type in anything and find hundreds of designs that you can choose from, whether it's something for your kids for school, whether you're doing like a school project. I do a lot of things with my kids for school on it or whatever you're making. If you're making labels for your kitchen or the bathroom or whatever you do, that's what I do a lot with mine. Um, but you can pick from so many images and fonts. As you can see here, I'm making my labels for my bins that I'm doing for underneath my sink. So all I wanted underneath here was some cleaning supplies and things that I use in my kitchen a lot. So I picked a font that I wanted from Design Space. There was tons of fonts. I just thought this one was cute and I thought it would look good for underneath the sink. And I measured and I'm getting it to the size that I wanted it. I decided to go ahead and cut out all most of my things at once um, all of my labels that I needed I wanted to get most of those cut out um, I waited to do the bottles um, until I got everything else done because I couldn't decide exactly what I was putting in those bottles yet so I waited to do that and went ahead and cut out um, all of my labels for my bins that I needed going in and attaching everything together there's a button to attach it all together where it cuts right and then I'm hitting make it and then I hit for um, without the mat because with my Cricut Joy I don't need a mat to cut it out because I use um, the smart cutting supplies so that's what I'm doing and then it is starting to cut out and getting it ready for me to put on to my bins the materials that I needed for this project was the Smart Vinyl and then so I just decided to use white. I've got all colors of vinyl but of course I'm keeping it simple in my kitchen and then I also used transfer paper, uh, transfer tape excuse me, to transfer it on to the bins and so I'm just going in with my weeding tool and getting out all the excess vinyl that um, it needed to be kind of gotten out and then I am putting it all on the transfer paper and then I cut it out individually and then I'm also using my scraping tool that um, makes sure it kind of adheres to the transfer tape um, gets it on there good so it transfers easily I think that labeling things just looks so neat and so I love to be able to do this in different spaces in my home and I love that I have the Cricut Joy to be able to do those things easily.
holes on my bins. I wanted to go ahead and clean out from underneath the sink. I didn't have a ton of things under there, but there was a lot of cleaning things and trash bags. There was my husband's lunchbox under there and it just needed to be cleaned out and gotten organized. And so I got all that out um, and then I went in and wiped it down with some multi-surface cleaner and got it all clean. started putting the bins in um, wasn't exactly sure exactly how I was gonna have the bins I actually went on Pinterest to look for some ideas and I found a really cute Pinterest idea so this is where that um, came from and it inspired me to do this but uh, for my bins I did my dishwasher pods I reached for those every single day so I did those and then I went in with some magic erasers because y'all if y'all are like me i love some magic erasers they work so well um, with cleaning things in my house and then i also put some like dish sponges in there and then on the other side i had some dish towels um, i use those a lot and go through a lot of those so i had those easily accessible and then i also put in some trash bags and i decided to do um some regular kitchen trash bags and then i also had some smaller trash bags as well that we mostly just use in the bathroom but i decided to keep those underneath the sink like i had previously for my bottles. I decided to put Windex in there and some multi-surface spray. And as you'll see in just a second, I spelled multi wrong. I put an M-I instead of an M-U, which I knew how to spell it. I didn't realize it. Um, but the font I used was called Autumn Sunshine, if y'all are interested in doing something similar, if y'all liked the font as well. And I'm going in and cutting those labels out and then attaching those to the bottles that I use. These are just plastic bottles. That way, um, they're not as easily easy to break in there. They work really well. Um, I will leave all the materials below what I use to do underneath my sink. switching it up just a little bit down here um, and making it even to look a little bit neater so I brought those dishwasher pods to the other side and I decided to put the dish towels down and then I put one more bin I did not label that bin because I decided um, it just looks really cute with the multi-surface and the Windex spray in the front and then I went ahead and put my other cleaning supplies that I use a lot behind those and it was like a perfect fit. This little bin worked out so well for um, the rest of my uh, appliance cleaner and I had some um, dishwasher stuff in there like the rinse aid and some other dish stuff. So this is a before and then now I'm going to show you guys the after and it looks so good. I am thrilled with how it turned out. Just labeling it just made it look 
even neater. I'm so excited just to have an organized underneath the sink. Ethan was so excited that I did this just um, to get it looking so much neater down here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video coming along as I organized a little bit of my kitchen. Um, let me know if you guys enjoy these types of organizing videos. I definitely enjoyed making it and enjoyed the end product. And don't forget to check out Cricut. I'll leave all the details below and everything that I used for the project. And I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye.